Mariposa Wildlife Sanctuary is a quick boat ride away and was one of my very favorite excursions. The sanctuary is currently home to a wide variety of orphaned and injured animals, about 70 non-human animal residents, providing wildlife rescue and rehabilitation. In the early days, it was primarily an aviation sanctuary. Then, after Poppy, the spider monkey arrived, who arrived on October 29, 2003, the floodgates opened to all kinds of wonderful local critters. It was a nice drive through Puerto Jimenez to get to the marina, where we met our boat captain for the day, who would take us across the bay. National Geographic has coined the Osa Peninsula the most biologically intense place on Earth. With over 300 species of plants and vertebrates, the largest population of scarlet macaws in Central America, and 140 mammal species, including 25 species of dolphins and whales. The Osa sustains 2.5% of the world biodiversity alone, drawing in wildlife lovers from around the world. When we pulled up on shore, it felt very remote, and we learned that a lot of these beaches and jungles were used to film Jurassic Park. And then we were also greeted by this lovely spider monkey who would show you exactly where she needed to have scratches done. She didn't want anyone to feel left out, and she was gracious enough to show you exactly where she needed a little bit of love. The Osa as a whole holds the largest population in Costa Rica of scarlet macaws, a monogamous species that can be seen flying in pairs high in the sky. Did you know that sloths can live up to 40 years and when they carry their young, they are growing in their mother's belly for 7 to 10 months and they only give birth to one baby at a time. Another weird fact is that they tend to go to the bathroom in the same place every time, which leaves them vulnerable to predators, as they usually only come down once a week to do this. The amazing wildlife isn't just landlocked either. Humpback whales have been spotted in the gulf between Corcovado and Piedras Blancas, along with whale sharks, dolphins, and even more orcas. Just across the bay from the sanctuary is Corcovado National Park known for its amazing variability of ecosystems and hikes that give you the opportunity to spot some of the most elusive wildlife Costa Rica has to offer. On a separate trip, we went to Corcovado National Park and I definitely recommend the hike if you're able to do so. We did the shorter hike, which was eight hours in, and we slept at the ranger station, which is a large compound area in the middle of the jungle, and then hiked eight hours the next day back. It was quite intense, but totally worth it, as we got to see and do and try so many new and crazy interesting things in the jungle. When we left the animal sanctuary, we took the opportunity to do a little bit of whale and dolphin watching. And then we did a little bit of snorkeling in different areas and had lunch. And it was such a gorgeous and beautiful day to explore and discover. There is so much that the Osa Peninsula has to offer. I definitely recommend a visit. And I mean, come on, to see those sloths, totally worth it.